Hello, hello everyone. This is Leah and in today's Trash to Treasure project, I'm turning this from wintry drab to springtime fab. Recently, while at the thrift store, I was looking for a new computer chair for my crafting desk, and I spotted this lovely. It doesn't look great yet, but I love the lines of it. I love the shape, the chrome legs, kind of mid-century modern looking, and it's super comfortable. So I decided to give it a facelift, and the price was very right. I couldn't go wrong for 99 cents. Even if I terribly mess it up, not much out of pocket. But I'm going to be using everything that I have at the house already. So, really no extra money. So, first things first, checking everything out. I'm giving it a little bit of cleanup, taking off the tag. Now, I made a boo-boo with my electric sander. When I was putting a new sanding sheet on, I thought I'd broke the clip off. My husband later fixed that for me, but um, you can't really use the sander with only one clip working. So I went to the old manual style of my hand and a sheet of sandpaper, and it seemed to work out. Then I took a microfiber cloth and some alcohol, gave it a good cleaning up, this chair had been abused and neglected for quite some time. A lot of cobwebs on it. And I eventually want to fix those chrome legs. I didn't have any chrome spray at the house at the time, but those will be refreshed later. So I just wrapped those legs up with an old shower curtain that I used for painting. And I took it outside to give it a fresh bright coat of white. I'm using this Rust-Oleum paint that came from Walmart. It was under four dollars but I've already used some of it so there you go. Bright white chair for my craft room. Yes I realize I have some runs. I was a little bit impatient with my spraying but that's no biggie because I'm going to be putting some decals there and you won't even be able to notice it. And there's a lot of scratches deep into the plastic, but that's just character for my chair. I found this file on Love's SVG, a free file, and I will be linking it in the descriptions if you would like a floral pattern. I sized it on my Cricut to what I needed to print and played around with the colors and figured out what I wanted on my chair. And then after applying it, there it is. From drab to fab. Yes, thank you. I love my one-of-a-kind chair. I think it turned out wonderful. And it was even cat approved by Miss Daisy, our 16-year-old cat. Thank you so much for watching today, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button.